This opera came about、um, because I was so angry last September. I believe it was September 9th of last year, when Trump revoked the protections of the Dreamer Act (DACA), and I just, after the anger passed. I reached out to Jorge Sosa, who is a Mexican American. I myself am, and I'm a new immigrant from Singapore. And I said to Jorge, "We need to do something. So, will you join me in writing an opera about the Dreamers?" <laughs> Had a lot of、uh, interesting times discussing what it what it feels like to be an immigrant. You know what it feels like to、um, to leave your home. What it feels like to make a home somewhere else. How you transition from being an outsider into an insider, and then how that process is reversed with your original place of origin. Rosa is the dreamer that no longer dreams, hence the name of the opera, right? And Rosa is a very interesting、um, character because she came to the United States as a, as a little child, as a young child when she was ten years old, and、um, so you can see both identities in her, both her Mexican heritage and the new culture that she is trying to absorb. And at first, it's just so difficult because she she gets homesick. She wants to go back to Mexico. She misses the desert winds. Beautiful. I mean, I have to say that the libretto is beautifully written and beautifully depicting these two cultures. So it's it's really nice. As it really is a family story, that it really blends worlds. We see stories of people in their original homeland. We see stories of people in their new homeland here in America, and we see stories of people in their houses, stories of people in prison, and how is it that one space can allow all those fluid stories to、um, live? And I think that that the visual aspects of that are just a metaphor for what America is. How can this one container hold so much celebration of so many different traditions and places? It really is a grand representation of what an immigrant's life is. Like in this country, me being an immigrant myself, I, I moved to this country when I was twelve. Um, not that much different from the character, my like my character in this opera who moved to this country、um, when she was ten. There's one specific line in this opera that says,、um, "Don't tell Mama, but I'm homesick," and it just brings me to tears every single time.、It、brings up real memories and. It's a very important subject to be talking about right now. I think if people can open their minds after seeing this opera and understand that the immigrants are not just a mass of teeming humanity in caravans, but they're real human beings with. Each with their own very important story. We are not naive enough to think that an opera will will somehow solve the world's、um, immigration problems. But what what we can do is create a dialogue amongst our community. Art can change communities, and then the communities change around the arts, around the artists, and about the around the programs and about the, around the communities that they build. 
So it's about that. It's about connecting with more people and creating a, a positive loop of empathy and, and, and dialogue. That's when we can possibly begin to see a change.